Hello everyone, today we'll be covering a demo session on Anaplan. So before moving to Anaplan, I'll just like... Uh, before uh, moving ahead, I'll just like to give a brief introduction about myself. I'm an Anaplan expert trainer. I've been training around, uh, I have given training around the 200 plus individuals which are working in top MLCs right now. I have given training to individuals from all around the globe about me. I have an, I'm a solution architect with an extensive experience in planning and modeling. So just a brief topics what we'll be covering into this curriculum. Mostly uh, like we'll be going with the basics of Anaplan. We'll be covering in detail what Anaplan is, why we use Anaplan, what all is included. We'll be covering the list and rollup. We'll be covering one of the main components of Anaplan that is module. If you ask me personally, everything in Anaplan is dependent upon your module build. So we'll be going in detail about modules. Apart from that, uh, we'll also be covering how to see the modules, how to see the whole alignments of the module with each other. That will be under blueprint view. We'll also be uh, covering one of the main features about that is formulas and all that will that's a major core part of a building any modules. We'll be covering about uh, data import and export. One of the great feature of Anaplan, which helps us to import a data from uh, source side, and we can import into the Anaplan and we can export it to wherever we want to, depending upon where the information needs to go. Apart from that, uh, we'll be moving on covering dashboard section. So dashboard is uh, like uh, the you can say it like a UX, which is visible to the end user. So we'll be uh, covering the designing of dashboards and all, where the user can see all the data is coming how and at the same time he can manipulate the data in the dashboard. When we talk about this much about uh, Anaplan, the model, the data which we are including, the data are really a concern. So like one of the main feature of Anaplan is security. So we'll be covering that topic. Workflow and model map will be going in. Anaplan also does provide to link up with other technologies which are being used by other projects or other clients or maybe into a different system. That is, uh, we can connect uh, the Anaplan with uh, the other technologies as in MuleSoft and all we can connect with the Anaplan. We'll be also be covering about uh, project deployments. We'll be going to the model schema based on case study. We'll be doing that. We'll also be not only giving you a lecture about to complete the course but also we'll be walking you through the practicals and we'll be giving you a good knowledge of how to build a model so we'll be covering a case study we'll be reviewing the those case studies and uh, we'll also be coming up with uh, other any topics which Anaplan just puts in into their curriculum or if uh, Anaplan just uh, you know uh, makes an enhancement and if uh, Anaplan comes up with that we'll also accommodate those important topics into our course. so uh, today's agenda what we'll be covering in our course today will be a little introduction about Anaplan. When we talk about learning about any new technology or anything, we surely look about how much demanding it's into the market and uh, some features and uh, basics about model building. So a little introduction about Anaplan. It's like uh, already we know like it's a cloud-based platform. It's used for it's an EPM tool as the name itself suggests. It combines the words analysis and planning. Ana analysis and planning comes from plan is known for its memory database and calculation engine called hyperblock so it's all about uh, we are doing modeling here we are planning we are implementing customer demands into our model and we make sure produce an optimum goal where they are able to do a lot of things like uh, cost optimization where they can manage their inventories it is followed into a number of domains and a plan is uh, widely used into financial planning. It's used in supply chain management, inventory management, headcount planning, SIP implementation, and the list goes on. There are a lot of places where Anna plan can be used. So it's grabbing a huge market and a lot of uh, companies are moving slowly and steadily and they are making sure that they are using Anaplan instead of any other planning and modeling tools out here. If you compare it with its most basic ally, with its most old ally, if you say Excel, it provides a lot and a lot of features as in it helps, it's a multi-dimensional, it's a cloud-based platform, a lot of users can use it at the same time and it's dynamic in nature. So Anaplan just comes up with a lot and a lot of features which pushes the organization to shift their modeling and planning to Anaplan. So if you talk about the course technology, in the market, it's as I mentioned before, like it's used in workforce planning, quota planning, commission calculation, project planning, demand planning, budgeting, planning, forecasting, financial consolidation, profitability modeling. Not only that, 
and the list goes on and on so it can be used into number of domains and we are pretty sure that it will be expanding rapidly the main reason i mean if you ask why one should learn a plan because its demand is increasing tremendously it's one of the niche skill which you can acquire in the market and get a competitive edge over others there is mass recruitment all around the globe by the top MNCs. So the random topic, of course, uh, which we'll be covering all around is like uh, we'll be going through module building, dashboarding, as I mentioned. That's the UX. And plan has recently come up with their new UX that is uh, that have replaced their old dashboarding, and they are coming up with this new UX facility. We'll be creating the new UX as that we're importing it into a module, and we'll be going through. And we'll to the end of the course. You have gained immense knowledge. That you yourself can get certified in model building. Not only that, we'll be giving only uh, only things. We'll also be covering all the practicals for all the topics which we talk during the course of. It will be a financial planning. So whenever we'll be class, we will be slowly building up. Like I mentioned, like we'll be covering the basics. We'll be covering the theories. We'll be doing the practicals. At the same time, in each and every classes, we'll be making sure that we are moving slowly and steadily towards our project implementation. That will be in financial planning domain. So uh, just a little uh, how this look and feel of Anna Plan is. I like to show you all. So this is like workspace. Anna Plan workspace. How this. Uh, tool looks like we have predefined time versions users contents and all here we'll be building our lists and all and all the list goes and on so here we have the main dashboards which i talk about we can put up revision tags which we'll, we'll be discussing in our alm sections apart from that uh, source module and all if we are connecting it with any other model there are a lot of things i mean ultimately this is the place where you know you'll be building your model and you'll be doing your exercises and exercises and all and gradually with the course you will become more familiar with whatever over here is and as i mentioned about the new ux about uh, new ux which has replaced the previous dashboards so this is your new ux where you can come up with your my pages section and uh, we'll be building this little fancy and it's too dynamic we'll be creating our personal pages with the help of boards worksheets and all where we'll be assigning page name workspace model name and all whatever we want to include in the section so that's a little where you'll be spending your day out for your exercises and model building and uh, that's it so about the additional course resources what we'll be providing you apart from the lectures daily which we'll be covering we'll be giving you the sessions video of these lectures which you can use it in your free time for going through any topics again if you have a confusion you can reach out to us anytime we'll be giving you the useful references we'll be helping you with resume building we'll be sharing sample resumes we'll be showing path what you all you can mention in a resume what a company or mnc looks for and that is a we'll be having a resume preparation guidance and apart from not only that we'll also be making sure and uh, giving you the most important interview questions asked and uh, that which can help you in cracking the interviews so about the course demo questionnaire any doubts regarding the subject we can discuss in the sessions which we'll be having and any question regarding course timing resource allocation can be discussed we do value your feedback we appreciate your feedback and uh, this will help us in delivering qualitative trainings further you can mail your feedback to the mail id mentioned and contact us anytime for any feedback or any concern thank you 